option to develop those skills. And um, I'm originally from Venezuela. And most people, when they're coming from the Caribbean, they stop in Florida because of the weather, and they don't get all the way to Wisconsin or Minnesota. <laughs> so nobody is as crazy as me to go all the way up. Um, but I can tell you that how valuable it was for me to uh, let this, uh, I was leading some businesses in Venezuela, and when I moved, a lot of those skills were transferred or transferable skills to the job that I do today. Um, and having a student with that mindset that can think globally and act locally is very valuable for organizations. So doing case study, forcing employees to uh, act um, locally but think globally. What are you doing? What you're doing right now and the decisions you are taking, uh, whether it's a buying decision or an HR decision or a production in supply chain, that have implications around the globe. Um, the only point of view I will say for me, when I came I have to learn a lot of things about Minnesota. Like I have to learn a lot of things about uh, the U.S. You, know, you don't go right to business, you first talk about football and how his family and the kids and you had chat and then you go into the business, right? Um, it was a learning for me. So I took the time to try to learn how you are around and even some of the, um, the words that we use, like you betcha, that was you betcha, what do you mean by you betcha? You gotcha. You gotcha. Um, uh, it was a great learning experience for me. Um, but what I noticed is students and co-workers uh, didn't took the time to learn about other countries. So everyone around the globe is learning about the U.S., learning about our processes and how we do things. But we're not taking the time to learn about them to be more efficient. So that will be my, my takeaway. Um, from Cargill's perspective, from my perspective personally, I guess, uh, just networking with diverse groups on campus, just learning, I mean, within each campus there's such a diverse population typically, and I'm um, just learning from classmates, uh, you know, different challenges, uh, you, you know, that they see with, within business, and maybe their country of origin or something like that, I think that can be really helpful. Um, and then also just networking with uh, professionals in the area that might have a position in a company that, uh, where they deal with, uh, you know, maybe they do a lot of traveling, or maybe they uh, are a trader that deal with a lot of other countries, and the different dynamics that go along with that. Um, almost in any role that you're in in Cargill, you're going to have some kind of a global touch on, uh, you know, the work that you do. So even for my position in, in operations, I, I work at a grain elevator just south of your 20 miles. All the grain, almost all of the grain, depends on the year and the demand. Uh, but a lot of the grain will go overseas. A lot of the grain will go over to Central America, South America, uh, Asia. So, uh, so we have to know what the quality is that they're looking for. We need to know. Uh, you know, the food safety standards that they're looking for, and, um, you know, different traits in the grain that they're looking for. So um, the demand uh, internationally and globally is just uh, so big, and, and, you know, you can experience that in almost any, any position within a company, too. So, again, internships are so valuable, and you do an internship, you'll see that as well, because those internships are tied to, you know, some kind of a full-time role that that person could potentially have after college.